Hey guys, this is KSP with Ape, and today you join me around Eve with my space plane, which you can kind of see, but it's dark, so I'm sorry. But um, that's just so I can land on the night light side, even, um, because this is my Eve plane. It shall be descending through the thick, punishing atmosphere of Eve, and landing on the surface, and then taking off again, and definitely not getting back to orbit, because Eve has very high gravity, well, you know, relative to the Kerbal system. Uh, and pretty damn thick atmosphere, which gives good lift, but not good for, you know, oh, I'm getting a text, that'll probably pick up all the static. Um, yeah, so this will be descending um, through the thick atmosphere of Eve. It shall be landing on the surface and then doing not much except flying more, because, you know, I didn't really plan this. I was like, hey, I wonder if I could uh, make a plane that'll go around Eve. And then I flew it out here on rockets, not hyper edit. Shut up. It would have been difficult. Ah, oh, look at the sunrise over Eve. That green light coming through the purple atmosphere. It looks freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, we shall be uh, descending to the surface. It is at four times time accelerate, but the wings are starting to bend. This is, I believe, an entirely stock plane. Yeah, this is my stock save, except from hyper edit and make grab for Delta V reasons. It'll be fine. But, uh, it is now burning up at four times time, sorry. Um, because, you know, slowing it down doesn't add that much to it. It just takes longer to record this video. And I don't have a huge amount of time, but, um, you know, Elu Base will be coming soon, episode three, and, uh, Rescale Kerbin at some point. I haven't started recording episode two, so, you know, it's a lot of work, and I have school to ignore. Um, so, you know, Right now, I'm gonna dive right at the ground. Uh, that wing flexing is because I decided. Oh no! That was planned. Um, I'm diving through the atmosphere because I need to. Well, I want to get to the ground fairly quickly, and if I glide for ages, it takes ages like when I was testing it. And that was a little annoying um, because it's kind of annoying. It's kind of boring having to glide for ages. I mean, yeah, it's still pretty awesome. But it's. Well, it is landing on Eve. I mean, I still quite enjoy bringing shuttles back from. Uh, from orbit. But I never do that on the video because I why don't I use shuttles in my video? Shuttles are cool. I did do that one video about shuttles, two videos about shuttles. But it is basically Scott Manley shuttle plagiarized and made more powerful and better. And it doesn't really work without Ferrum Aerospace. And, oh, I'm rambling because I'm trying to fall through the atmosphere. This is Neil Bree Kermit, one of the greats. Um pilot fought in the war. Haven't been any wars in my color. There's been kind of wars. There's been shootings. That sounds bad. Yeah, there's just a lot of gang warfare in Kerbin orbit. A lot of uh, other warfare. Um, I'm thinking, yeah, as I've said a few times, I'm thinking of doing something battle -y. I did, I mentioned it a while ago, and I've been feeling kind of bad that I haven't done anything about it, but it does take a lot of time. I have an idea that it would be cinematic, because that's really cool, but it would be all stock, because if it was like well, Enter Listen does World War K, but that's lots of mods and stuff. Um, I kind of want to do it storytelling-y, except I probably might not enjoy that, and that would probably be quite play dry from Macy Dean's old stuff. But anyway, you can see the drag is really rocking up. We are slowing down, even though we are diving right at the ground. I'm just, you know, watching the radar altitude, um, because, but you know, so I don't hit the ground. Ugh, not texting, shut up. Um, so, we are, I would time warp, but, um, that happens. And although it doesn't tear apart, it is probably going to tear apart if I leave it too long. Right, the specs on this, um, my plane specs, well, the, the wings are the main thing. I needed lots of lift so I didn't need as much fuel. Basically, it's wings, one RTG, and the rest is fuel. I use these engines because they get pretty good ISP. Um, 300... Um, is 300 seconds ISP in a Eve atmosphere, at low Eve atmosphere, about a, about the same as the Kerbin, weirdly, it's, it's expected to be less, but who knows. Um, oh, I reckon it just has a bottom end thing, because that's how the game's done. Okay, this is jolting around crazily. Actually, what's better without torque? Uh, if I turn the torque off? No, no, I'm gonna stop. Damn it, man! So if I turn the torque off? Fuck. Uh, Eve plane, very inventive. Oh, that is not good. Oh, it is good. It's fine. It works pretty well with just gliding things, but I am going to turn the torque back on just as a comfort blanket, just in case. I don't know what, just in case. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. This is difficult. There you go. 
Right, how high am I above the ground? Oh, a kilometer. I don't look like a kilometer. Look at that uh, ground repeat. Although Eve does look really nice now. Um. But yeah, no, I actually quite like it. Uh, I don't have any of the beautifying mods on. I tried to install them, but for some reason just couldn't. I bet it's really simple. But uh, I'm not great with stuff. And I'll put the gear down now. What? Oh, I thought the sun was like tripping about me. And it is. What? Oh no, no, Peter, fly! Damn it, man! <laughs> just, I'd be a terrible pilot. Like, um, hey, Maverick, could you just uh, take out that MIG? What? I was just looking at the sun. God, it's beautiful. Maverick, are you high? That'd be. What would that be like? Just Top Gun, where they do like a Vietnam and just take loads of heroin. Yay! American gangster. That's where I get the whole Vietnam heroin prejudice. Because, uh, American gangster got that's not a good film. I prefer Goodfellas, but you know. I think I prefer Goodfellas to Godfather. Who knows? Well, surely I should know. Okay, and we're down. Now I can stop talking about films, and we have landed. That was really easy because thick atmosphere, loads of glide. Um, I'm starting to roll backwards quite badly. Oh, I'm just gonna leave the brakes on. Oh, I'd let him get out, but I didn't put any ladders on this. It was kind of done in a rush, because I was like, hey, you know what would be cool? And then I did it, and then I was here, and I was recording. Um, yeah, so that's that's nicely landed. Very easy to land, very easy to fly. There's just loads of um, wings. Just It's really easy to build, and I don't have anywhere to put it up for download, so, uh, you know, you can build pretty easily. But now I'm going to take off. Um, so, okay, there's a quite a lot of sound in my headphones right now, and annoyingly, my good microphone is broken. Oh, almost falling over. Yeah, it's fine. Um, my good microphone is broken, so I'm recording on a headset, so it'll be terrible audio quality. I'm very sorry about that. There's nothing that can be done. 35 meters a second. Now, we have reached the liftoff type velocity. You don't have to be going fast, but you've got a lot of lift. And, well, a lot of wing surfaces and a lot of uh, EVE atmosphere. And I can just pull it into a vertical dive. Oh, no, no, I can't. Definitely not. Oh, no. Ditch! Oh, God! No, oh, no! So, this has been fun. <laughs> yeah, don't put it into a vertical dive, because it doesn't have a huge um, thrust-to-weight ratio. Quite a, quite, a, quite a lot below one, and there's a lot of drag. You've got to l rely on the lift. But anyway, this has been going on for like eight minutes now, and it was supposed to be a quick video. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope I this has probably been the worst commentary and the worst quality commentary anyone's ever done ever. So, you know, I'm staying with my standard. Oh, look, it's flying. Infinitely back to Kerbin. Yeah, so, uh, I'll leave you with this image. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, feel free to like the video, or, you know, dislike if you hated it. That'd actually constructive criticism, in fairness. Anyway, uh, this has been Casper with Tape. I'll see you next time.